Hey gang, y'all welcome back to the Roadhouse. Uh, we're adding a new member to the grilling family here. Uh, I actually got a, a Traeger uh, Pro Series 34. Um, got the smoke rack to go with it. Uh, adds a lots and lots of space. Uh, also got the little fold down front shelf. Uh, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna meet y'all outside. I got everything set up. We're gonna do the initial uh, priming of the auger and everything and we're gonna run through a little check through I'll show y'all the grill it's nice solid as a rock y'all and uh, then we're gonna do the burn in on it and then uh, I'm gonna probably just throw some chicken and stuff on there but uh y'all come on let's go outside and check this thing out I'll meet y'all out there all right hey. there's a grill there nice looking unit man heavy duty extension cord Night in the front shelf. Let's open the hood and see what we got. Porcelain coated uh, grates. Uh, there's an ambient temp pro for the grill. 884 square inches of cooking. There's our stack right there. Nice, uh, about four inch, y'all. Little grease uh, drip bucket. And there's our little fold down shelf again. I'll show y'all that in a minute. The controller here. And uh, the detent on this. Uh, Controls is really nice, a good positive lock when you change the temp, dual temp probes, all phone switch, digital display. Let's check this out here. That's our hopper, it's 18 pound capacity. And uh, let's look down in here. There's the auger. And this is the last time y'all will ever see this pit this clean. <laughs> anyway, let's go around the back there and uh, make sure you don't have no stuff no junk down in there you know before we fire it up and everything so just kind of like inspection swivel lock and casters and i think the legs are like three three and a half inch man they're pretty solid uh, you can adjust your stack if you want to a little adjustable nut up under there and uh that's about it y'all let me show y'all this shelf right quick it took about five minutes to install and uh you just you just pick it up it unlocks and it folds down nice and easy you know and uh comes with all the little little two brackets and four bolts so you pick it up and you just set it back in the slots and it locks so the first thing you gotta do is pull your warming rack or upper rack out of there if it's pretty snug be careful don't bend your temperature probe on the left side here and pull out the main grain here and we're just gonna set all this stuff out to the side, y'all. Get ready to burn it in and just burn all the oil and everything off of it. So, but we'll get the get the heat pan, uh, not the heat pan, the drip pan out. It's pretty big, man. That thing's the size of the whole unit, you know. So you can throw all kind of junk on there. Don't have to worry about it uh, getting everywhere. Look at the oil on that thing. Yeah, we're fitting to burn that off. That's gonna be all right there, so. Okay, let's make sure y'all can see this here. All right, and that's our heat uh, baffle, or heat diffuser plate there. It goes right over the fire pot right there. Stainless steel, this and the uh, drip trend, uh, pan. So we'll get that going and uh, we'll be back in a few. This All right, gang, we got the auger running, we have airflow, we have heat, we in good shape. Yeah. So what you do now, you go turn your dial back to shutdown cycle, and it's going to run for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes or so. It resets this hot rod in here and burns all the pellets out of the fire pot, and, uh, you know, it'll get rid of that stuff. So the auger doesn't turn, it's just a fan and the uh, pellets burning off, so anyway... All right, so next step is to put us some pellets in the hopper there, and I got some Pit Boss Hickory. We're going to fill that bad boy up with some of these, and then we'll uh, get that going. Come on. There you go. 18. Holds 18 pounds. That's 20-pound bag, so that's, that's pretty cool, man. You can cook for... A long time on this hopefully we're gonna find out here in a little bit but uh so we got that did 
let's get over here and see if we can refocus on the control and stuff. There you go, man. Looking nice. Yeah, ready to go. All right, y'all. See where we at. Let's get readjusted right quick. All right. Come on, camera boy. There you go. All right. Everything's reset and went through the shutdown cycle. So at this point, what we're going to do is cut our power on if the cameraman quits playing with the camera. Come on, son. People waiting. There we go. Get y'all a good shot on the dial there. So cut it on. Put it on. Let's see how it goes up to hey, 450. Okay, that's cool. That's preset from the factory. Alright. Put it on high and uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna prime up the auger with pellets and everything. So we'll wait. We're turning. There he is. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Yeah. I wish the sound was on. I'm having to do a voiceover. If y'all can't tell, you hear that little plinkity plink, and it just spits them out, man. Isn't that cool? And uh, I guess once it gets a few of them in there, it's got to have a timer stuff in there because uh, once it gets a few more pellets in there, it's going to uh, get that hot rod heating up and uh, it'll go ahead and ignite those pellets now. Now the fan, when you cut the switch on, the fan comes on automatically no matter what mode you're in uh, on your temp setting. So, But uh, we got that sucker run on high. So we got that. It's primed to go back to shutdown cycle. And that again resets that hot rod, uh, so you don't have a misfire when you uh, go to restart your grill. Now, don't turn it straight to off; it's going to cut itself off. I think it's got a, like a 10-minute time or so shutdown cycle. We're going to let it run its course on this, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute, gang. All right. Got that gone, done. Yeah. What I'm gonna do now is set it on smoke and get augers running, fans running. Hot rod's gonna be heating up here directly. Thing's pretty neat, y'all. Pretty neat. And the internal probe senses the uh, pit temp. Yeah, we'll get a little heat starting now. And, uh, yeah, we're in good shape. Good shape, y'all. So we'll wait for it to heat up. Just give it, let it do its thing, you know. And this one, after everything's primed up, you know, pellets, everything's ready to go. Just put it on smoke. And uh, after it gets ignited and everything, then now uh, you can go up to your, your temperature and what have you. So... That's just to get it started up initially, so we'll let that, let that thing, that's a good little load right there. All right, yeah, we're getting some heat. This pellet just lay on top of that hot rod, and that thing gets super, super, super hot, y'all, so. All right, now we're rolling. We have ignition. That fan blows pretty pretty good. I don't know what the CFM is, but boy, that thing pumps some air through there. Yes, sir. We got some smoke rolling now, y'all. Look at that smoke down in that pot, man. Looks like a little vortex in there. Oh, yeah. Get over here and get y'all a good shot of this. Yeah, we have fire. Can you see it? Reposition here for a better look, y'all. But look at the airflow. It's like a vortex in there. You see what that smoke's moving? 
Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. Once it's lit, man, it's like a little jet burner in there. Look at that. That is too cool, man. All right, so that's the last step. Everything is primed. Now, what we're going to do, if I can get resituated here, it will go back to shut down. And that normally takes about 10 minutes. So we're going to let this burn off do its thing and uh, finish burning off the pellets. And uh, we will be back and uh, start putting this thing back together, y'all. Finish burning off. All right, let's put this dude together and we'll get it burned in in just a second, y'all. All right, we're going to set this dude to smoke, powers on. And we're going to let it get up to temp. Then we're going to burn that sucker in. It usually takes a couple minutes for it to get going. So once we get a little smoke action there, we'll uh, we'll get start to burn and we'll get the temp up on it. All right, gang, we got smoke. Looking good. We're about to burn this dude in. Uh, still on smoke. Everything's ignited. Y'all come look right here. We're going to go from smoke up to the high setting so, all the way over to high and this thing when you change temperature it's going to blink five times just to verify that that's what you want to do and there's our high setting it says 450 now i did actually uh get this thing up to i think 486 um like in the next little clip but uh we're gonna check it in about uh probably about 40 minutes all right it's been about 40 minutes let's open the hood and see how she looks yeah look like a bunch of junk left to burn off to me uh traeger recommends about 45 minutes i i think i'm gonna just go the full hour here maybe a little more but so we'll check back in a minute all right it's been an hour, maybe an hour and a little change. Temp 448. It'll stay within, you know, five degrees either way. So let's uh, pop the hood and see. Make sure y'all grab a towel or some heat resistant gloves because this thing is hot, brother. You can feel the heat radiating off of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Clean, no smoke. Got that little white powder around there from that high heat. So. We'll get all that cleaned up and everything. Looks good though. We'll wipe our grates and everything down. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to shutdown mode now. You see, if, if you change it there, it blinks five times to verify that's what you want to do. And that's why it blinks. And then go back to the original, like the grill temp. So there you go. All right, we're in shutdown mode. We're going to let it do its thing. And I'm um, saying the auger runs or stops running and uh, the fan's going to run. Burn those pellets out the fire pot for about about 10 minutes and the whole unit shuts off automatically. Even with the uh, power switch on. That's in good shape, y'all. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we got the burn in done. Uh, everything cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned out my fire pot and all that. I put some uh, heavy duty foil on my drip pan right there. Uh, be easier clean up there. So, all right, we're ready to fire this thing off for the first cook, y'all. So, okay. let's cut it on. It so and uh, we're going to put it on smoke. There she goes. Top is full of our hickory there. We're going to let it come up to temp. So, we we'll see smoke going out of here. Uh, we got some chicken and uh, sausage and some jalapeno poppers we're going to throw on here so I'll check back here in about 10 minutes y'all. Alright gang y'all welcome back. Yeah. 
here. selector here. Probe one is chicken breast. Probe two is the chicken thighs. So, right. And that's our grill team. Right. We'll check back in a little bit. Alright, it's been about 30 minutes. Man, yeah, look at that. Chicken breast 123. Probe two is our thigh 165, y'all. All right, let's uh, you know, we gotta see y'all. We got our instant read, so let's let's see. Damn, look at that. That sucker's within a degree and a half, bro. Hell to the yeah. Tent probes on, and they got a grommet there, and uh, it's a rubber grommet that actually seals up very nicely. You know, look, very nice. You don't lose any kind of really heat or smoke or anything. You know, and look at there. There's our catch bucket. Look at that grease coming off of everything. We're sneaking another peek, shall we? Check our temps again. Probe one, that's our chicken breast. 140. Probe two. Oh yeah, we're finna pull them thighs off of there, y'all. Right, that's gonna blink. There it goes back to the original grill temp. Alright. All right, let me get these thighs off, gang. We'll be back. Oh, 
tell you this, if you open your lid to do something, which you probably really don't have to, uh, shut it fast, man, because it will lose heat pretty quick. Let's check our chicken breast temp. 172. We're close, y'all. About 180, man. We're gonna pull that dude off. We're gonna check it with the uh we're gonna check it with a with the uh, thermal pan first, but uh all right, we'll be back. Y'all can see that a little light smoke coming out of there. They call it clean smoke. Mm -hmm. And you know, I really don't see any around the edges and stuff. That's pretty good. This thing seals up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's check our chicken temp again. I feel pretty confident in these probes here. 183, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that chicken off. I put some bread on there too. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's looking good, y'all. You know what? We're gonna put this dude. We're gonna put this dude in shutdown cycle. Heck, yeah. Everything's pulled off, and uh, we got the chicken breast done. Those probes are really accurate. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Didn't see a whole lot of smoke, but uh, you know, check this out, man. This is uh, this is our plate here. Yeah, the dogs want some, and uh, the chicken smells really good, y'all. Did the bread, like I said, about. Look at that little crunch, about seven minutes. You know, I run it from uh, 350 up to 375. Poppers look pretty good. So what we're gonna do, let's, uh, let's split open this chicken, y'all, and see what we what we got here. Let's see if we can zoom up just a hair on this. Let's see how this chicken come out, y'all. It temp's good, but let's see. some juice in there. You don't see that? Hmm. Alright, let's check uh let's check this thigh here. I'm okay with that. The skin didn't crisp up but you know first cook, you know, this end looks okay. Kinda like uh KFC uh baked chicken or whatever. So let's cut this Put this thigh here. That's all right. And these were boneless, skinless. Look at that, juicy, huh? I have a little hint of a smoke ring in there. All right. Y'all come up here, let's get a little bite of this stuff. Like cooking for the first time on a on a new grill, huh, y'all? All right. There's our chicken thigh. Cheers to you. Hmm. A little here in the hickory smoke. And the rub, you know the rub was good. Honey barbecue. Yes, saw. Sucker Buster's rocks, y'all. All right, now let's try a little piece of this, uh, little piece of this chicken breast here.
Mm-hmm. Just in the meat itself, I'm getting a good hint of the hickory smoke. Man, that's not bad. I wish the skin would have crisp up a little bit more, but you know, that's uh just to make sure. <laughs> That's not bad for our first cook, y'all. Not bad at all. No. no. Let's see how the sausages do. Sausages is sausages that cook good. Kanaka. Mm. Good stuff. And. Well, that's pretty good, y'all. A little hint of the hickory on that too. Popper. Mm. Not bad. Not really getting a lot of smoke on that. Good though. You know, say the bread. You know, Yeah, baby. Not bad. That's me. Hmm. A little hint of Hercules smoke on that. Okay. Alright. That's me. We'll get it dialed in, y'all. Not bad. Alright, gang. It's already late, man. It's 8 o'clock. Here to get the grill, you know, set up, primed up, burned in, and chicken. The chicken only took uh, everything I put on there, heck, maybe an hour and a half, maybe. Something like that. But you know what? That's a that's a pretty cool machine, man. I, I'm impressed with, with that in the first cook. So, uh, you know, uh, never used a pellet grill before. I'm a charcoal stick burner man. But, hey, if it make a good piece of meat, I'm cool with that. Catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.